Hey folks, uh, so it's been quite a while since I posted anything. I uh, just wanted to give everyone an update, show you what I've gotten done over the past few months of uh, not posting any videos. So, the reason I haven't posted a lot of videos is I yeah, haven't recorded a lot, and then what I did have kind of got corrupted on a thumb drive and transit. And Anyways, alright, so the front fork assembly is all together. Uh, I think the last video you saw was me machining the uh, upper and lower triple clamps. So those are all put together. This is all mock-up. These are going to get anodized to a different color eventually. Uh, front wheel's on. It's a brand new front wheel. Got it off uh, eBay? Yeah. So i got to get some uh, brake rotors on there. Calipers are mounted. Got the right axle in there. Looks pretty good. Got the exhaust on. I uh, don't remember exactly the brand. It's a uh, 3 into one 304 stainless. <clears throat> I needed the 3 into one because I'm going into a turbo. So... That's why the engine's back in the bike for mock-up to uh, uh, to look at where the turbo plumbing is going to go. So get that figured out. Um, got the rear suspension pretty much completed. Um, so you can kind of see from this angle, I've got the new widened swing arm installed and built. Um, I'll throw up some pictures here in a little bit of uh, getting this drive hub in here off of the original factory wheel and getting it uh, machined an adapter plate. You can see this big aluminum piece right here. I machined that to slip into uh, into the wheel to mount the drive hub. Still have to cut the axle down a length, thread that, and puts a, put a nut on there. I've got the rear brake caliper mounted temporarily. Uh, it's going to get a, a stay to keep it from rotating, but the bracket's there. Uh, machine these spacers to get everything kind of lined up. As far as the rear shock goes, I've got a cantilever style set up here based on uh, based on the geometry from uh, I think it's from an R1. I copied the geometry for the um, for the cantilever there for the rear suspension. I still have to adjust that. That's not in the right position right now. And then I've got a adjustable lower link here so I can adjust the ride height of the bike. And then that comes up to a uh, stop uh, 2006 or 1000 shock. Uh, we've got the upper shock mount. Everything's just kind of tacked in place right now. Uh, this is still early mock-up phase. So anyway, so yeah, this is all knocked out, and I got the drive shaft in. Uh, it's not perfect right now. It was the last put time I put the engine in here was to check the length of the drive shaft. It's a little too long, so the uh, angle on the U-joints is a little severe, so I need to shorten that guy just a little bit. Right, so I have to pull the swing arm back off to pull the drive shaft and shorten that. So that'll get done. Uh, I've got the adapters machined for the throttle bodies. I uh, plan on posting a video here relatively soon. I'm going to go through the process of how I convert a bike like this to fuel injection. So if you're interested in that, uh, please keep an eye out for that guy. It'll be coming here relatively soon, hopefully. I uh, started amassing all the parts I need to do. The wiring and the uh, ECU is already built. I've uh, got to start machining the housing for the... ECU, but I've got all the wiring, the plugs, coils, injectors, everything on standby to get this thing going. Um, yeah, so this is what I've been up to. I haven't been completely stalled. I uh, just haven't filmed a lot or shared a lot lately. So I'll get this guy up there. Uh, hopefully I'll slab a stack of pictures at the end, and you guys can uh, see some of the stuff that I worked on, because I didn't lose the pictures because I took most of them on my phone, and I... Just lost most of the video. But anyways, so there it is. Um, if you're still interested in following along with this build, please like, subscribe, and um, tell me what you guys want to see uh, as far as uh, parts of the build. And if you have any recommendations or suggestions, uh, not that I'll follow them, but please feel free to share them. Um, curious to see what you guys have to say. Right on. Thanks for joining me.